yanking taxes from anybody they can find. Uh, Walking Dead's final season first trailer. Hold on, I want to watch that because that little like the little the little kid that they force you to take in season two is maybe one of the ugliest little kids I've ever seen in a video game. So let's watch the nightmare that Telltale built real quick together. Peggy 18. Just for Europeans so you don't get alarmed. Oh wow, look how much nicer everything looks. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. I love kid raising simulator in the zombie apocalypse. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Don't forget to scream. Come on, you love this one. I like that she's never going it's to AIDS. Song. Past the circle. shouldn't scream. Ever. Should scream brings monsters. That kid's ugly. It still looks yeah, like shit. You're right, kiddo. The song was written before when kids didn't have to worry about monsters. Yeah. You'd think with the number of zombies that get killed in a, a given engagement. Because he's been smoking pot. Of course, look at him. He's probably going to resist arrest later, too. What's the first rule? Yeah, he's got cataracts. Never go alone. Never go alone. Yeah, right. never go alone. Except unless you do go alone, which is fine, also. We shoot them in the head. No bullets in that gun. And what else? Always save the last bullet for yourself. There you go. Why do they why do they look like that's meaningful? That kid wouldn't understand. So like let's talk about the problems with this trailer instantaneously. That kid would not have a concept of the idea. Thank you for the 100 bits. Axe not much except that I'm pissed off. Clementine, it doesn't matter if she's 18, she's fictional, you can fuck her at any age, bud. It's cool. So listen, that kid would not understand that that's a sad meaningful statement. That kid was not alive during a time when zombies didn't exist. Okay? He doesn't need to feel bad. Why wouldn't he go, why shouldn't, why, why would people scream if they see a crocodile? Wouldn't that attract zombies? And then the kid, and then Clementine could go, if this was written by not hacks, oh, well, back in the day, zombies didn't exist. So we didn't have to do that. In fact, I was just a little girl when that happened, so I don't even remember it that well myself. Because I'm a character that's existed for a long time. And not just a character that's being written by people from a world where zombies don't exist and we just write about them for fun. Okay? Right? Okay, little kid? Okay, now let's play the sad music because you have to sh maybe shoot yourself in the head one day. Oh, won't that be sad? Fuck off. Fucking Telltale. Will you just fucking hire good writers? What happened? You do if I get bit. What do you do if I get bit? You shoot her! You prick! Why are they playing that like, who cares? First of all, if they have Clementine get bit anywhere but the last, anywhere but the last two seconds of the fucking thing, guess what we're playing in August, by the way? If they have her get bit, okay? If they have her get bit anywhere but the last two fucking seconds of that game, I'm going to Marin County and I'm burning it down. The whole fucking thing, okay? Telltale's headquarters, their family homes, all the rich people's vineyards, the whole thing's just gone. I'm nuking it. I, I, <laughs> I hope the little kid dies. I hope the little fat nerd dies and then she dies trying to save him so that I can hate t Telltale games forever. That's what I want. I'll still play them, but God damn it. Why? <sighs> like, first of all, the reason we liked Clem wasn't it was because we could play her as cold blooded. You know what I mean? It's because we could play Clem as completely rational because she, you know what I mean? She's hardened by the fact that her parents are dead and all this other stuff. Like, that's how we could play Clem. And then as soon as it kept going, as soon as they started, started fucking hiring the blue haired fan fiction writers that don't know anything except Steven universe porn, the fucking that's this is what we get. We get fucking sad, sad music playing under shit. And they're just, they're leaning on Clem. 
could you imagine if there hadn't been good writers when they first put Clem into the game and the only sorts of characters we had were that shaved head hyperdike from fucking two? Holy fuck. Just the grossest human being to ever appear in a video game and not because of her sexual orientation, largely because of her bulbous head, giant eyes and poor hair styling choices. It's ridiculous. Like these guys are just fan fictioning Walking Dead season one. That's all they're doing. You guys don't remember the... Oh, wait, you did you not play it? Or was it two? No, 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 it was this new season. It wasn't the second one. It was, uh, it was, what's her name? It was fucking, uh, 